Ah, this is Wario again. And, um... Today. Ah. So, today. Very cooperative today. So, uh, I'm turning my BW electric fireplace on. Today, I've got something different. Oh. Okay. Today's purpose of filming is the new WW wood stove. Put it in anywhere in your home, and it can automatically generate heat. So, here's the wood stove. It's currently off. The weather really isn't good cooperating. Really, the weather really isn't cooperating well. So, I actually have uh, two fireplaces in. This is the mobile fireplace, you can carry it with you anywhere. So, I have that on. Oh, and I got my WWE electric fireplace on. You can see that's a bright fire there. Uh, the video will come later demonstrating on how each of these fireplaces work. They'll all be individual videos. So, um, this is the WWE Electric Fireplace remote. We're going to have it set at 71 degrees. And, uh, it is below that right here. It's things that I'm planning to connect to the WWE stove. Right now it's not connected to anything. So the WW stove needs to be connected to a thermostat. So as of now, I'm going to take this and put it right there. I don't think it can be displayed, but currently says 70 degrees indoors. I don't think the lighting's well enough for you to read that, so I'll grab a light. Here's a good view of it. It should be very clear. 70 degrees. So yeah, you may be unaware the winter months have already started. And... Yeah. The weather's really been in chill. So, uh... WWE still has ceiling fans, but well now, 
we're making heating products. So that includes the stove, and now I'm connected to this wirelessly. Now I can just test, test the temperature up. Turn it on like that. WWF is the best heating and cooling. And as you can see, the good lighting quality. That is also a really bright fire. WW makes the best fireplaces. Not to brag, but yeah. And if you can, uh, if you put a light in front of a WW fireplace, it illuminates the color of the flame, making it even brighter. So, um, yeah, stove is pretty good and efficient, you see, for heating your home. You can just connect it to a thermostat instead of having to wirelessly use a receiver or put a control pan on it or wire it to a remote. It is very convenient. Just connect the wire to a thermostat and then it will automatically do the work of what you can set your thermostat to. It doesn't have the uh, timer option at all. Very sorry about that. But well. Still pretty good nonetheless. Look at the bright flames. And also, if I move the camera a bit, or uh, the WW logo and a vent at the top where the heat comes out. And there's a fire. Let's see how it works. Is that? Oops. Just take it down, and uh, now it's off. Oh, well, oh, I didn't have time to put ventilation into it. Except the vents and exhaust heat up here. So, um, basically how I make this work is it automatically starts a fire. Do right like mixing elements. You can flip it over. And, uh, there's a side that lights the fire. It lights the fire when you flip it over. And, uh, it puts out the flames when it's flipped back over. That's how manual on and off is. So, that's basically it for the WW stove. Figure with the light, the quality's better. So, So, my recommendation, go buy WW Electric Fireplaces or any electric fireplace of your choice. So, go buy electric fireplaces. That's my recommendation to you all. And the WW stove is so far the most convenient and energy efficient fireplace yet. So, that is about it. It is now October, by the way. So on uh, this fireplace, I will make a separate video for how it works. I'll make a separate video for how the WW stove works. And I will make a separate video for how the WW electric fireplace works. So far, it's the best. It has the biggest flames. And... Thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Also, please be sure to subscribe if you want more. And special videos come for when we reach a certain number of subscriptions. Going from 50 to 100, to 200, to 500, to 1000 where we throw a big party. And the 333 question of the day. As of October 1st, how cold has it gotten where you live so far? And, do, and have you had a chance to buy electric fireplaces yet? Thank you.